the world sort of waiting and watching for this eruption, 994 earthquakes in just the last 48 hours. And the strongest one, as we mentioned, just below four, but on the magnitude scale, but you still feel that. Residents of the Icelandic town of Grindavik have basically gone into their homes. They were briefly allowed to gather some things yesterday, some of their belongings. On Tuesday, you'll remember, they returned, but they had to flee immediately because some of the meters started detecting a rise in toxic sulfur dioxide, and they thought that might be another sign. We also see steam coming out of some of the geothermal uh, cracks as well. So it's a combination of things that are happening. Fox News correspondent Brian Yanis joins us right now from Iceland. Brian, this has been quite a a fascinating development. It's hard to see a town have to evacuate and really escape the danger. But other than that, we're really seeing geologically how the world was formed. Yeah, Amy, it really is fascinating. You know, Iceland is the size of Kentucky with about 400,000 people. So there's usually a volcanic eruption on average once every five years. So when it does happen, it usually does not affect people or towns. This is the first time in some 50 years that an entire town, Grindavik, is really under threat here. It could be destroyed under a worst case scenario from such an eruption. The last time we saw something like this, perhaps in 2010, and we've spoken to scientists about that volcanic eruption. It happened off the coast of Iceland. It caused a huge plume of smoke and ash that traveled over Europe and North America, canceling some 100,000 flights. Now, scientists we've spoken to here in Iceland say a 2010 scenario is highly unlikely. This is different this time around because the eruption is likely to happen on land and not on water. It's not a Mount St. Helens, definitely not, not at all. This is much more comparable to the, um, the thin, thin flowing lavas that's oozing out on, on Hawaiian islands and uh, it, it's more comparable to that scenario. So there have been thousands of earthquakes that have been that have damaged buildings and roads in and around Grindavik. Now there has been a full evacuation of the town of 3800 and the nearby famous Blue Lagoon Hot Springs uh, has shut down until at least November 30th. Now this is not an eruption from a singular volcano. Scientists are looking at about a 10 mile long fissure where magma is building up on uh, and could rise to the surface anywhere along that point, including in Grindavik. So look, if the the time the volume of lava that comes out will determine the severity of this amy and a big concern here is not necessarily ash and smoke it's the sulfur dioxide gases as well as of course the lava how much of it and where it flows not to mention the infrastructure has been really interesting to hear about how the level of the ground is actually sinking or being depressed in some areas and all of the cracks that we're starting to see it's going to be a long road even if they are able to return to this town so we'll see how it all turns out we remain on volcano watch fox news correspondent brian yenis thanks i'm amy freeze welcome to fox weather's youtube page we have more great videos on the way so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather